Hello you lovely people Welcome back to my channel For a bit of a gobful this one Because it's a Patreon special It's a subscriber special And it's my best mate special as well Because he is all three guys uh, Obviously being my best mate Already makes it wonderful to do this for him He's asked for this game to be shown I have actually shown it before on my Super Retrocade videos. So you can check that out in my library, guys, because it was actually added to Retro Bit Super Retrocade. Fantastic bloody title, guys, which was only originally released into Japan. Uh, but in 2018, yeah, Retro Bit came along and they did another version of it they re-released it guys um you could get a standard edition or you could get this beautiful masterpiece right here the collector's edition absolutely wonderful and as you can see by that guys i'm talking about holy driver as i say up until 2018 was only released in japan and then retro bit came along they actually regionalized it as well so you got an english version of it which is fantastic but yes originally it was released in 1989 on to the fantastic famicom the japanese nes basically isn't it <laughs> but yeah what a fantastic title guys and nate my best mate has asked me to take a look at it and as i say guys he is such a star he really is i mean being my best mate He's kept up the Patreon as well. Oh, it's it's oh, just wonderful. He is a wonderful, wonderful guy. I can't say enough about him. He's also uh, my counterpart on the Ambernick uh, unofficial fan group over on Facebook, guys, which is an emulation group that me and him started up. So, yeah, oh, I can't highly recommend him enough. And he's also one of my admin on my UK Kraut Gaming group as well on Facebook. So... What a guy, what a guy. He's over the pond over in the good old USA. Um, but it's like, oh, it's like he's right here, guys. Uh, we're that close. Um, it just goes to show you how much smaller the world is these days. That, um, you know, your best friend can literally be thousands and thousands of miles away, yet feel like he's he's just next door. It is fantastic. Um, yeah. So anyway, getting back to the point of the video, guys. He asked me to take a look at this fantastic game so it's holy driver and no i don't mean the dio album and song guys um as wonderful as they are i mean oh dio brilliant absolutely brilliant but yeah it's got nothing to do with that guys um <laughs> it might have the, sa the same name it would have been fantastic if dio's song was on there wouldn't it holy driver the song was on there it would have been awesome wouldn't it oh you can but dream you can but dream mm. anyway yeah it is, um, yeah, it got a bit of a mixed review when it first came out, guys, because a lot of the uh, reviewers, the uh, critics, guys, they said it was basically just a Castlevania rip-off. In fact, I think uh, one, of the, one of the reviewers, I can't remember which one now off the top of my head, said it was literally a Castlevania clone. I wouldn't necessarily say that, guys. Um, yeah, it's very similar to Castlevania, but it's not a bloody clone of it. It's got its own bits, and I'll tell you what, it is freaking hard. As gorgeous as it is, I'll tell you what, the music blows you away already. It is fantastic, some of the best bloody Famicom music I've come across yet. Uh, the graphics are fantastic for 8-bit, guys. Fabulous, they really are. But it's so hard, as you will see with my crap playing, guys. As usual, I play crap. But when it's a hard game like this, I'll play extra crap. Um, but yeah, you, you're going to see a fantastic game. And I'll tell you what, if you give it some time, get really good at it, this can be an awesome game. Now, I'm sure Nate was having a little sneaky there. He knows how crap I am. He knows I can't play a game like this very far. Um, but yeah, at least he can have a laugh. 
that's all right yeah because i'm sure he can bloody play it better than i can and um, but yes guys would you like to uh come with me and have a look at uh irem i think they're pronounced irem masterpiece really holy driver um obviously uh it's not just irem anymore it's also a retro bit as well because like i said they re-released it in 2018 <sighs> right Hold on to your britches, guys, because this is freaking fantastic, but bloody hard. Right, back in a sec, guys. Right, here we go, guys, with Holy Driver. Japanese exclusive until recently, that is. That music goes is brilliant. Alright, oh, shall we play this thing? Oh, so you can jump. You can shoot. My enemies come thick and fast in a minute. You see why you know, people said it was like Castlevania, really. Castlevania clone, as they called it. Oh, no, they can't reach him. And they come back with buggers. Come on, then, guys. Pick them fast. So I'll jump over some of them in the end. Brilliant game, but jeez, the way you did it hard. Oh! Hard as nails. <laughs> I wonder, uh, <laughs> Nate wanted me to do this one, he knows what a fool I'm making myself. Okay. So. Look at all these buggers, right? Well, at least they're trapped. Someone comes up behind me, probably. Oh! This is terrible, terrible, terrible. Right, I'm gonna continue. Yeah. <sighs> Sweet Fanny Adam. Oh, you start right back here. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? So you got the New York Japanese hardness. Dear me. Take your time, take your time. You get that sod out of Get away from me. The way they knock you down again, that's so annoying. And they all come at you from behind and everything. Look, oh, they're buggers.
You will probably yeah, of course I'm in the stream and if you don't put a work big enough. Right, so. I'm sure Nick can play it better than me. In fact, I'm bloody certain you probably can. Oh, look, there they come again, the brothers, all at once again. Oh. Oh. Dear me. And sometimes they seem to get you, and they shouldn't be. <coughs> Come on, Well, just get to... Oh! You know, there's moments where you feel like just throwing the controller. Yes. This is one of those moments. Then we go back at the bloody tree. Hmm. Hmm. Sod. Oh yeah, we're going to get off this level, eh? It's a fantastic game, this is a It's bloody awesome. But how hard is this? Jesus, what is it? I've got no plan in trying to say that, do I? Oh, got a bit further. Oh, what is that though? Let's get that first. Oh. How the hell did I even manage to get to this? Oh no, I'm back down here again. Mm. <laughs> I'm down there. Oh, no, I'm That's it. Maybe I can jump up there like that. Yeah, there we go. Can't break the old lamps like you can in Castlevania. Well, they're just going to keep coming out there, brothers. We still got a bit further. Not really that much further, but you know. Oh, that bloody... Really, huh. Got a satanic cross on the other one there. Oh, this will really be really good about now. Oh, where the hell? I'm coming from all angles now. No! What the heck? That's not fair! No! <laughs> oh, that's not fair. You sods. Oh, at least I start back here, guys, isn't it? That's something, I suppose. I'm going to get him out of the way a little bit. Where did they come from all angles? They're bloody sods. 
so you just gotta try and jump over them, but you can't. <laughs> They're coming from everywhere. It's not fair right last time, guys, there we go. I'm not gonna get any further, we know that. It's me. Mind you, I don't think anybody will find this hard. Bloody fantastic game. <laughs> really is. Music from all is brilliant. Okay, some crap music lately, I tell you. I should say music on games lately. Oh, you sods. You're not He's gonna come along now, mate. Yeah, there we go. Oh, assholes. Oh. Ah well, at least we had a good look guys, and I can hang my head in shame, as usual, back in a second. Oh, it's so hard, it's so hard. Oh, Jesus, I mean, it is freaking fantastic, but it's so bloody hard I mean they come f come at you from all angles don't they flipping heck all angles guys they come at you um, you know you got those, those big bloody um, dragon things coming down and you get all the other shits coming from both sides at you as well but oh my god is it fantastic doesn't it look awesome and yes I get where they're coming from that it's very castle banery Vainery, Castle Vainery, that's a, uh, uh, look, I've just, yeah, there you go. It's Castle Vainery, like. Um, but it has its own merits, guys, definitely. This is a fantastic game. And obviously, if you can pick up that fantastic bloody collector's edition from Retrobit, that would be sodding awesome, wouldn't it? And I'll tell you what, if you can't, you know, you'd probably pay about the same price as you would for a, a Super Retro kid. So grab one of them instead. They are gorgeous machines, guys. I've got tons of videos. If you go up there, you can have a look at all my Super Retro Kid videos. And Holy Driver's on there. And it is the translation one, of course. Um, so yeah, that is a good way of getting to play it as well. Um, or, of course, if you're into emulation, grab yourself the ROM. Um, but wow. Fabulous, fabulous game. As I say, guys, it has a... Oh, a great whopping difficulty to get over but i'm sure even a mug like me could possibly play it better with a bit of practice or maybe there's just no hope for me but there might be hope for you you could still do it yeah yeah, yeah you could still do it um but yeah whatever way you play it guys it's a fantastic game as you can see and i'm so glad that nate got me to take a look at this gorgeous gorgeous game Right, and with that, guys, I'm going to bring it to an end. And I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And, of course, guys, don't forget to tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any notifications. And, guys, do you love emulation? Because this is the kind of gem that you can play on emulation guys. I mean some of those games that are out there that are really expensive. So you can imagine can't you. The original Holy Driver already fetches a lot of bloody money. For the uh, Japanese Famicom version. And now the collector's edition from Retrobit. Fetches a lot of bloody money as well. So what a fantastic way to grab the ROM. And shove it on an emulator and have a play on that instead. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you can never beat the physical, but emulation is a way, especially to test things before you spend vast amount of money on a game. So yeah, brilliant. So if you love emulation, I have a group for you. At the moment, we're still called the Ambernick Unofficial Fan Group, because at the moment we're doing a poll where we're trying to choose a new name. Or, well, you guys are trying to choose a new name. So if you want to head over there, you can take part in that, guys. Become a member then you can vote on that poll for our new name. There's a choice of uh, quite a few. I'm trying to think now how many it was. Six, I do believe. Yeah, six. Of course it is six. Six. Because oh. what we did, guys, is each admin member 
picked a name. So there's six admin. Does that make sense, doesn't it? Yeah, there's six names, guys. So yeah, uh, you can pick any one of the six that are there. And uh, the one that gets the most votes, that will be the new name of the group. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic place to be anyway. If you love emulation, we have lots of videos on you know handheld devices like reviews and the os's that run on these devices guys because they're you know lots of custom firmware out there guys to put on them and you can have a look and see which one suits you best and of course we cover the uh the home systems as well of emulation anything to do with emulation basically and then guys i also have my uk kraut uh, Facebook group as well guys where I cover anything to do with retro or modern gaming again lots of videos there guys because other youtubers are putting their videos up there so plenty of content for you to watch and again lots of banter with like-minded people so if that floats your boat anything to do with gaming head over to Facebook look up UK crap gaming all in low case and then uh, yeah ask to join and I shall accept all you in no time and finally, guys, I have a Patreon. It is linked below. If you would like to head over to Patreon and take a look at my video explaining why I set it up in the first place, and then you might want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to say Vida Zane. Juice and goodbye, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.